What's going on, everybody? It's back on the lift. What is going on? Y'all might be wondering. Well, I have just uh, one thing to say. Uh, she's misbehaving. Nah, it's just uh, it's leaking some transmission fluid. So from the seal, transmission seal, so I'm going to lower the transmission so I can change the seal and a few other stuff while I'm at it. So first things first, taking off the exhaust. Started the process of taking out the exhaust. I took out the bolts that go here into the downpipe or headers, however you want to call them. So I just unbolted these uh, 13 millimeters over here. Disconnect the O2 sensors. It's got uh, eight millimeters there. It drops, it comes back here. And these are like, I got different bolts in here, but it's like 13s and the whole muffler is loose and it's ready to come down. So that's the first step that we're going to be doing. Then we gotta take these off. Then we're gonna take the drive shaft off, bolt, and it's gonna be out. Muffler is off. So the muffler is off already. So the next step that we're... Is we are taking out the drive shaft. So we're gonna be removing the drive shaft. The way I like to do it is I could fit a smaller wrench here. Over here, it's an 18, and then impact this out, and it's the quickest way to do it. Other ways that I do it sometimes is I just, uh, like when I don't remove the whole cover, and I'm doing this like on a customer's car or something, I put a jack here, a screw jack, take the transmission uh, bracket, harmonic cross member out, and then I drop it. That way I have access with the wrench push the drive shaft back and take the weevil off. That's what I'm doing, just the weevil. But in this case, we're gonna take that out, the whole drive shaft, all the way to the back. So that's the ATF, cause these transmissions use automatic transmission fluid. And most likely because the pilot bearing disintegrated right here, it's like shimmed, it's like not flat. So you can't really pull the throwout bearing out. So I'm going to clean the transmission with the greaser, make it all nice and clean, and then I'm gonna have to grind these down so I can take this out. So let's see, let's see what how we make this happen. Okay guys, so eye safety before we start grinding. So we got our you know OSHA approved glasses over here to start uh, grinding. Uh, as you guys saw, I showed you how our throw bearing is stuck in there and we're going to have to do some grinding. So what we have here is this amazing grinder and we're going to come in here and grind this off. So, you know, there it is. We should have plenty of room and with this guy over here, we should be able to grind it all off. Guys, so grinding is over. There it goes. So, some grinding done. It's pretty smooth now, all the way around. So we can proceed to take the rest of this off. This clip sort of slides off like that. And then now we're gonna take this Allen bolt out and then slide this and replace that seal. Move this piece already. That slides out with the four Allen keys. Here's the seal that we're replacing. And I like to put the screws here, kind of drill it into the seal so I can just pull it back instead of digging in there with a screwdriver or a hook and messing off the shaft. So this is a good way to prevent this from happening. Fellas, new seal in. Now we'll slide this guy in there. Now we'll just put the Allen bolt in and get it. Now I'm just gonna redo the uh, clutch, put the clutch back in there, pilot bearing, brand new pilot bearing, transmission goes in, and we're down to roll. What? <laughs> so I also replaced this rear seal for the shifting, shifter, link, whatever, and uh, this guy right here is usually like really loose, but I put a uh, rubber hose in there from a fuel line 
inside of it so to make the shifter a lot uh, stiffer so let's see how that feels in the car so uh brother Victor came to help out Vita Whoa. you so he's here he didn't come to help out he he came because he wants me to do the tires on his car <laughs> But he helped out, yeah, yeah. so the car is all back together. It's all and good to go. We just installed the muffler right here. Oh, everything's goose and tight, high in German. Goose and tight, goose and tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right here, we're good to go. Everything's bolted. And slick. we're leaving this part of the muffler out because cage is on. Too quiet. Cage is good. All two centers, all perfectly tucked in, all tightened. Uh -huh. Good me. to go, man. Good to go. Yeah. I so like, it's gonna I like be this loud. protector. Look yeah. at this protector. It's, nice. it's like no, heck no. You ain't gonna bust nothing. Yep. It protects your engine right there. So there we go. So it's going to be loud and raspy. Uh, it's too quiet for my taste. It's and going to be an M3. <laughs> we're going to. ain't no clone. We're ain't gonna, no clone. It's going to be a legit one. But, you know, work. Work. It's Vic here with Jesse's Garage. Starting up the Beast. The 328 slash M3 conversion. Dash 536.34. Differential ratios. Something's going on. Something's not starting. You need to connect the battery. Oh, never mind. Ooh, get the beast. Oh, this thing sounds gnarly. It sounds gnarly, ladies and gentlemen. Homeboy Vazzy right here. I gotta do some skids like for real like he hasn't driven this thing in like a week and he's going nuts you know he's got to drive the focus <laughs> 